Hey guys, hope you're doing fine. Welcome to another episode of Sensei Talks. My name is Aman and in this video, I'm going to clear all of your doubts regarding the absolute and the incremental coordinate system. So just sit back, relax and let's roll. So in CNC programming, there are basically two type of coordinate systems that are used. One is the absolute programming system and another is the incremental programming system. But before we jump to the actual programming system, let's start with the basic. So let's start with a very basic example. As you can see, this is a basic two axis coordinate system. And let us suppose this is our x and x1 axis and this is our y and y1 axis. As you all know, the x and y axis are always positive, which means the other two will be negative. So let us suppose a point P at this position. As you can see, the point P is 3 mm from y axis and 2 mm from x axis. Now let's find the coordinates of point P. As you can see, the distance on x axis is 3 mm and the distance of point P on y axis is 2 mm. So the coordinates of point P will become 3 and 2, which means the distance on x axis, which is 3, and the distance on y axis, which is 2. So that was pretty easy. Let's take another example. So let's take an example of a cube and solve this example with the help of absolute coordinate system. So as you can see, there's a cube A, B, C, D with each axis 3 mm. Also, this cube is 2 mm from x axis and also 2 mm from y axis. Now let's find out the coordinates of each of its corner. So the coordinates of point A will be simple the distance on x axis and distance on y axis. So as we can see, the distance of point A on x axis is 2 mm and on y axis is also 2 mm. So the coordinates of point A will become 2 and 2. Similarly, the coordinates of point B considering point O as origin will become the distance on x axis and the distance on y axis. So as you can see, the distance on x axis of point B is 3 plus 2 which is 5 mm and also the distance on y axis of point B is 2 mm. So the coordinates of point B will become 5 and 2 the distance on x axis and the distance on y axis from point O. Now let's find the coordinates of point C considering point O as origin. So the distance on x axis of point C is simply 3 plus 2 which is 5 and also the distance of point C from x axis or, or we can say on y axis is 3 plus 2 which is also 5 so the coordinates of point c will simply becomes 5 and 5 which means the distance of point c from this origin along x and y axis similarly let's find the coordinates of point d from this origin so as you can see point d the distance of point d is 2 mm on x axis and 3 plus 2 which is 5 mm on y axis so the coordinates of point d will become 2 and 5 so there was a basic example of absolute coordinate system where we find the coordinates of each point considering o as a reason so what we conclude that in an absolute coordinate system there is only one origin and all the dimensions will be taken from this origin now let's solve this cube with the help of incremental coordinate system so the basic difference between an absolute and the incremental coordinate system is that in an absolute system there is only one fixed origin and all the dimensions will be taken from this origin 
but in an incremental coordinate system there is no fixed solution as such as we move to the next point our previous point becomes the origin now let's solve this example with the help of incremental coordinate system so let's start from point a so there's one thing that whenever we starting from a point the origin o will be considered as an origin so for point a the o is the origin but not for point b c and d so the coordinates of point a will be taken considering o as an origin so as you can see the point a is 2 mm on x axis and 2 mm on y axis so the coordinates of point a will become 2 and 2 which means the distance on x axis which is 2 and the distance on y axis which is also 2 now let's find the coordinates of point b but at this time the point o is not be considered as an origin but our new origin will be the point a as i said when in an incremental coordinate system whenever we move to the next point our previous point will become the origin and as you all know in our coordinate these two axes are positive and these two are negative so at this point which is our new origin these two axes are positive and these two will be negative so this is our new origin so we need to calculate the coordinates of point b considering point a as an origin so let's find the coordinates of point b let's see the distance of point b from our origin is 3 mm on x axis so the coordinate of x axis will be 3 and as you can see the coordinate of point b on x axis is 0 so the coordinate of y axis becomes 0 so considering point a as an origin the coordinates of point b will become the distance on x axis which is 3 and the distance on y axis which is 0 so the coordinates will become 3 and 0 now let's jump to the point c as you can see while taking the coordinates of point c our previous point which is our point b will become the origin so this origin will be shifted to point b so our new origin is at point b which means the coordinates of point c will be taken considering point b as an origin so the coordinates of point c will become the distance on x axis which is 0 and the distance on y axis which is 3 mm so that's how we calculate the coordinates in an incremental coordinate system as we move to the next point our previous point will become the origin and let's find the coordinates of our last which is the point d uh, according to an incremental coordinate system so for point d point c will eventually become the origin so considering point c as an origin the coordinates of point d will become the distance on x axis and the distance on y axis as you can see there is no positive distance on x axis but the distance of point d from o is 3 mm but on the negative side these two are negative and these two will be positive so the coordinates of point d will become minus 3 and 0 so as you can see the point d is 3 mm on x axis from origin and 0 mm on y axis so that is how we calculate the coordinates according 
to an incremental coordinate system where our origin will be shifted as we move to the next point. So that was all from my side today and if you find this informative do share with your friends and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up also for any queries regarding the absolute or the incremental coordinate system you can comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot